title of this is I found condoms in my wife's purchases. <laughs> oh, brother. What a tough break. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Because you know what? There's a few things that are apparent. One, you don't use condoms with your wife. Two, you're snooping in your wife's purchases. How else would you know? And three, your wife's a fucking whore. Or should I say, you married a fucking whore. First off, he sent a picture of her, her purchases. In order, we have uh, some perfume called Emporio, Emporio Armani because it's you. So some perfume. Ugh. Some dog food, pref probably to feed the bitch that is his wife. Some stainless steel scrubbing pads. A 36 count box of condoms? 36 count. How long would that last? Let's say if she's cheating on you, she's fucking his dick. Your wife's cheating on you. You, She's fucking this guy's cock twice a week. You know what? She's fucking his cock three times a week. You divide 36 by 3. That's 12. That's 12 weeks she plans to fuck this guy's dick off. 12 weeks, that's about 3 months. So she's fucking his cock for it. She plans to fuck his cock for at least 3 months. Or rather, she's fucking this guy's cock twice a day, every day. That is going to be 18 days. So that's about 2 weeks she plans to... Either way, it's awful. Uh, the condoms, some Arm & Hammer Pets uh, body wash, some Clorox disinfecting wipes. Okay, so this is apparent she's cheating. She's using the Clorox wipes to clean off her coochie because she's being considerate to try not to bring home any diseases to you. I remember back in my day, I wasn't cheating on anyone. Never have. But I remember after I've had a fucking, oh, uh, this is sad. I don't really want to go forward with this. But after I had an engagement with someone, I made a mistake. I was young. I, you know what I did? I sprayed alcohol all over myself. I said, please purge me of this woman. <laughs> I bleached my sheets, Lysol, the whole shebang. I was acting like she had COVID, and this was before the pandemic. All right, let's get into what he actually said. I've been having a gut feeling for a while now. Possibly that my wife's having an affair. Oh, we always know. For some reason, it's in the back of our head. She doesn't tell us, but she tells us. It's the slightest thing when someone starts cheating on you or when they step out on you they could not have even done it yet but you can tell that they are planning to it's absurd really it's crazy you wouldn't think so because with a man if the man's cheating i would think it's pretty obvious i mean fuck but if the woman is she starts to treat you different she Loses that twinkle, twinkle in her eye. She's a bit more irritable. She's hard to be around. She's a bitch. It's easy to tell with them. I did some prying on her phone. We'll see. You did some prying on her phone because you 
were looking through that phone because you knew what you were going to find. There, and I have had my times. I made mistakes, and I apologize. Every time I've went through a woman's phone, I found exactly what I was looking for. There's never, ever been a time I thought someone was fucking another cock, and they weren't fucking another cock. Or, I remember there's one time I caught her. I mean, I would never even know the truth. She probably did fuck him at that point. But she almost was about to fuck him. And I caught her right before that dick went in. I said, fuck you, bitch, I'm out. I caught her right before. But I've, but it, every time, every time I, I've checked a woman's phone, she's been fucking that cock. Fucking that cock. Hey, but it's not your fault, brother. I can tell. You and I, we're one of the good ones. We have the good cock. <laughs> right? Pause. So it's not our fault. Somet- we have to understand. When someone steps out, it's not because of you, for the most part. If As long as you're not a flat slob that lets yourself go, and you're not being her fucking ass, it's not your fault. That is just part of their nature. You could not have prevented this. It just sucks that you chose a whore as your wife. Couldn't be me. Um, I did some prying on her phone and looked up some of her messages. I found nothing suspicious. She deleted them all. Or you're checking the wrong app. There are so many apps now for you to be able to communicate. It's impossible to find. Then they delete them. And they deleted out of the recently deleted. So, and hey, but good thing about Apple devices, they when they have them synced, you can check all those devices. They can even delete shit on a phone and Mac, and it will still be in the watch. Think about that. The condoms date back to a couple months ago. Oh, she's been fucking. She's been fucking on you. Unfortunately, she hasn't been fucking you. She's been fucking some other cock. I don't get it. Why would this selfish bitch do this? This is solely her account. So she made all of these purchases. I don't use condoms with her. No shit you don't. Why would you be mad that your wife found condoms if you fuck her with those? And I'm looking at the condoms that she bought. They're Skin Elite from Trojan. She didn't get the Magnum. So she's not dealing with Mr. Horsecock. There's, you're not lacking anywhere. She, she's just fucking. Am I the only one thinking I, and saying, am I the only one thinking th- that this is a huge red flag? No, it is a huge red flag. Your wife's cheating on you, dude. Don't belittle it. Don't know where to go from here, but I'll be looking out for more things. Her demeanor and her being less interested with me led me to believe that something is off. What did I say? I did not even read this. I just like the title. Some You can always tell with a woman when something is off. It is so apparent. We start dating you because we like who you are. We like being around you. We like how chipper, joyful you are. When we leave the world and we come into around you, it's like a... <sighs> I'm so glad that I'm around you. It's this warm, fuzzy feeling. You're so nice, agreeable, helpful. Then you slowly become irritable, rude, unhelpful, a bitch, non-physical. And it's pretty apparent at that point. Once a woman changes and you can no longer recognize, because it always happens slowly, increment. Small increment. Uh, 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 uh. And you may not notice, but over 300 and 350 days, you kind of wake up. You got to, and you always don't fall into this trap. You don't want to, when you're in a relationship, it's different from when you're married. So when you're in a relationship, you want to remove yourself from that uh, event, which is a relationship. Remove yourself from it and look down on a bird's eye view and truly un- have an unbiased look and say, what is going on here? Because every time, and I hate that this has happened to me multiple times, but it's, it's not my fault. 
I'm that nigga. So I can I can be honest about this. But every time I've had a woman fuck another cock on me, <laughs> I, I, I know I could have caught it earlier. You know? You could have as well. But you're married, so you're in a different degree. I'm first talking about relationships that aren't married. Constantly have an unbiased check and balance uh, with regularity, with a regular cadence in a relationship to make sure everything is going fine. Because with these small incremental changes over time, you may not notice. So you really have to check on everything to make sure that the relationship stays healthy. Now, if you're married, hate to break it to you, but you're really fucked. You have to stay for the most <laughs> for the most part. Uh, you have to stay, unfortunately. Um, so try your best to forgive her. Um, if she truly, she didn't tell you about it, so that does that means she doesn't. She didn't stop like caring about you at least because she doesn't want to hurt your feelings, right? The woman always hides stuff from you because they're extremely selfish. They're smart. They're extremely smart and extremely selfish. So they they want to have their cake and eat it too. I hate that saying because why on earth would I want to? Why would I? Why on earth would I want to have cake but not be able to eat it? But basically, women are extremely smart. So they they want to be with you. They like you. Probably even love you. But they just want to fuck somebody else just because they can't help themselves, right? But the fact that she hasn't told you and you had to snoop and find it means that she actually does care about you. And she, she just doesn't want you to know about it because she knows that it'll tear you up. And it will probably end y'all's uh, marriage. So what you do is your goal is to, one... Build a case against this bitch because what hey if it, if all this goes to hell, you need proof. And two aside from building a case against her, try to fix this. And that's the that's the that's the that's where the humility comes in in a relationship. You may have to fix things that aren't your fault. And you may have to lower yourself to a level to accept someone to, for mistakes that you did not even make is not your fault. You have to fix her mistakes. You're married. So you have to figure out why she cheated. Don't tell her yourself because you don't want her changing all. Because as soon as she find out you didn't check her shit, she changing all the passwords and you will never be able to build this case so build the case in silent don't say nothing to her find more evidence and two talk to her discreetly and try to find, figure out if there's any problems in a relationship that you can fix and see if she starts acting different so it do everything right i'm talking flowers hold the door take the trash out every little thing that she's ever told you make sure that you do it and see if she starts to act any different. Me, myself, I can't give up until I realize that I've put my best foot forward and that, and that it's not worth it. Like you, once, you, once I try my best and still fail, I say, okay, I'm not fit for this position. Thank you. But I will be putting in my two-week notice, bitch. And I'm moving on to another position. Well, I will be fucking the shit out of somebody else. I'll be buying roses for someone else. I will be spreading my wealth in uh, um, kids with someone else. And I will be to the benefit of someone else, which is another company slash woman. So two week notice, you whore, bitch. So let me know what you think. I really hate this for you. This is really worst case scenario for you. Um, hate to break it to you, but your wife is cheating. She's And she is a selfish whore. We've all dealt with that type before, but you may be able to brainwash her back into a suitable woman. Um, so please just reach out, reach back out to me. Let me know how it's going. Uh, this is truly an awful situation, but you can get through this. Have a great rest of your day. I'm out.